What's up everybody? This is Mike the Developing Dad coming to you with another reflection on the Proverbs. It is April 30th, 2020 and we're going to be in Proverbs 30 verse 4 and it reads, Who has ascended to heaven and come down? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has wrapped up the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? Surely you know. So we begin with the words of Agar, and Agar begins with, I'm going to give you a little bit of the structure of where we are, the context of what this verse, where this verse is. So I believe Agar begins the first three verses with one, an introduction, and in the first three verses, he kind of laments his, his foolishness. And then he asks this, this rhetorical question in verse 4. So the first verses were 1 through 3, and this is verse 4. And then he, gives, he praises God in verse 5. Then he gives a warning to not add words to God, not add, not to add to God's words. And then he gives, he gives a prayer. And this prayer is one that my family and I uh, pray daily. But he, he praises God. He gives a warning and then he prays. So we're right here in the middle of this rhetorical question. And I want to really dive into this and maybe see what we can pull out of it uh, that may help us help to bless you today. All right. So we know that we're limited. We're finite, right? God, Agar sets that up at the beginning, that man is limited. Man is finite. He is not God. All right. If any, look, I, as sleepy and tired as I am today, I, I, I am fully aware that I am finite and that I am not God. OK, uh, but we're limited. But God isn't. OK. And he asked this using the, the method of, of questioning rhetorical questions. Who has ascended to heaven and come down? No man that we know. Right. No man that we know. Save one. I'm saving a little bit for, for, for later. Hold on now. All right. Don't get ahead of me. I know because I, I get excited. I'm getting excited thinking about it. Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Think about that. Try to grab the wind. Right. It's really it's impossible to do. If you see me on the video right now, I'm actually trying to do it. In it and I don't have it. I'm not. It's not working. All right. All right. Who has wrapped up the waters as a garment? Have you ever tried to wrap yourself up in water? Like I, I've never tried, and I don't like being wrapped around in water either. It's not a good thing. And, and water is, is um, in the scriptures is seen as a, a form of cleansing, but also a form of judgment, right? Uh, Jonah thought the waters coming in over his head that was that was a form of judgment. Uh, we know the flood is judgment as well. All right, so we're limited, right? We've got the water wrapped around as a garment. Who has established the ends of the earth? What man can do that? What man can say, this is where the earth ends. This is where it begins. This, these, this is the four corners, right? The four corners of the earth uh, in that time. That's what they, the, belief, the belief there was the, the four corners of the earth. Um, who's done that? Right. Can we can any of us say that we've done that? I know I haven't. Right. I haven't even been I haven't even been off of this continent yet. OK, so I definitely am not the one that is, you know, that is established the ends of the earth. And then he asks a question. What is his name and what is his son's name? Surely, you know. Right. If we do, we know these things If we can we consider ourselves wise. Wouldn't we know this? Right. The, the, what the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and knowledge or knowledge of the Holy One is insight. This is what the Proverbs tell us. So we, we should know the name of the one who has done these things. Surely we should know. All right. But, but in our foolish state, we do not know when we when we come into the knowledge of the of the Holy One. Yes, we begin to know who this person's name is, who he is and what his son's name is. And we'll talk a little bit about this is a I believe this is a uh, well, let, let's let, let me before I get ahead of myself. One, I, I believe that this song, this proverb here should cause us to glory in our creator. OK, so this is the heavens declare the glory of God. The sky proclaims the work of his hands day by day, pour out, day by day, pours out street and night speech and night by night reveals knowledge. That's Psalm 19. And that should be our thought pattern when we read this. We know the one who's who can ascend to heaven and come down. He created the heavens. He gathered the wind in his wind in his fist. He's the one that created everything. Breathe into our nostrils the breath of life. Uh, he's wrapped. He can wrap himself in the waters as a garment. He told the sea, "This is where you. This is this is your boundaries, and you go no further." He can do all that he pleases. He establishes the ends of the earth. This is the God we worship. This is what it and then the question. Come on now. What is his name? All right. We know his name. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the son, the father, the son and the spirit. All right. So this is I believe this is a veiled reference beginning veiled reference to the triune nature of God. What is his name and what is his son's name? 
God has a son. God the Father has a son. His son's name is Jesus Christ. Therein lies the beauty of it. We know a man who came down, the God man came down, who ascended, right, to heaven, has come down. He's, he's walked among us. He has uh, uh, loved us. He has, come, he has uh, called us to repentance and faith. He lived the perfect life so that those who would come to faith in him would no longer have to suffer the penalty for their sins. The, like this, this is this is where this is where the shouting music needs to come in, right? Jesus Christ, the God Man, has done all of this stuff. He not only has he has he done this; he died on the cross, uh, raised on the third day, ascended into heaven, right? The, a, a man ascended into heaven in in a glorified body, and he sits there, and he's in our he's our advocate, he's our um, intercessor. Uh, he is, he is, he's our go-between. If you need to know, that's, that's the simple term, the go-between for us. Uh, he prays for us. Like constantly he's doing these things for us so that we would be found righteous through him. And his name is a wonderful name. That's why at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confessed, right? That Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the father, right? The father, uh, is glorified through the Son. We we get I get excited about that, right? So this veil reference to the Trinity. What is His Son's name? What is His name? God the Father. What is His Son's name? Jesus Christ, the Son. All right. So that that right there, this this proverb causes me to worship because I know the man. Huh? Come on now. I know the man who did this. This man came down. Uh, you know, uh, took took upon flesh, right? Philippians tells us, right? He knew uh, he he took upon flesh. He not not wanted to um, not uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember it now. Uh, seeking to be, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was uh, look. I, I'm I'm blanking on Philippians right now. I'm just gonna tell y'all right now. The Philippians two, the Carmen Christie. I'm blanking on it. I haven't memorized, but I'm blanking on it right now. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut this out. I get excited though about this proverb slow. So I just want to let y'all know, look, just a little side note too. Yesterday I recorded a video. It just went way longer than I wanted it to go. It was on discipline uh, and I didn't post it because it got way too long. And then I got into my day and I didn't get a chance to re-record. So I didn't forget about y'all yesterday. Uh, but this one, I wanted to come back and bring some excitement, let you know that, look, I'm still, I'm still here five days a week. <laughs> uh, but I pray that this blesses you all today. Let's spend some time today glorifying in the triune God, right? The God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Spirit, the one who ascended and came down, the one who gathered the wind in his fist, wrapped the, can wrap the waters in, um, as a garment, uh, establish the ends of the earth, right? That's who we want. That's who we're worshiping today. So let's, let's glorify in him today. Praise God with me today. I ask you to uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one. All right, grace and peace.